following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United States Championship. He peed with the DDT, and there's a 619 to it. He got him. Rey Mysterio has got him. Here's your winner and the new United States Champion, Rey Mysterio. Well, the Undertaker will be meeting in a one on one match here. Mr. Kennedy. This match may be over now, Kennedy. Well, you put up a great fight to Kennedy. Is there anyone who can stop The Undertaker? Is there anything that can stop The Undertaker as we move forward towards the Royal Rumble? Well, Mark Henry has certainly been a dominant force here on SmackDown, taking out the World Heavyweight Champion Batista after SummerSlam. And here we go, Mark Henry and Batista. And Batista with right hands and shoulders now to the midsection of Mark Henry. Stairs is cheered by Batista. And Batista, look at this assault, this attack with the steel chair by the animal. He has been unleashed, ladies and gentlemen. I have a feeling this is not over between these two. Gentlemen to SmackDown, coming to you here from Phoenix, Arizona, in the desert, and tonight is going to be huge following the No Mercy pay-per-view. Tonight we have a series of matches, including the number one contenders match for the United States Championship. Finley will go one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Lashley to determine who will face Rey Mysterio at an upcoming date in the future. Also, Rikishi will go one-on-one -on -one with Brock Lesnar. Two weeks ago, it was Brock Lesnar who assaulted Rikishi, but tonight, they settled the score. Well, here we go with Rikishi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Rikishi! Rikishi making his way to the ring. Baby is 350 pounds. And it's... It's going to be an interesting contest to see, say the least, between Brock Lesnar and Rikishi. Especially with what we saw Brock Lesnar manhandle Rikishi a couple of weeks ago. And his opponent. The country to the ring by Paul Heyman. Brock Lesnar. And the next big thing, here comes the pain. It's Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, the man who F5 Rikishi several weeks ago. And an absolutely harrowing sight to see that Brock Lesnar was able to get Rikishi up for the F5. Will he be able to do it tonight? I don't know. But folks, these two men are certainly not going to show any mercy to each other. As Rikishi was, he believes he was punked out by Brock Lesnar. And there's a Samoan drop and Rikishi sends Lesnar to the outside. The next big thing is reeling. Well, what will happen when we come back? We're back in Brock Lesnar taking it to Rikishi. And there's a suplex. Brock Lesnar has been dominating Rikishi throughout the commercial break, break fold. And there's a, another suplex of, over the head throw. That was like a belly to a belly to belly suplex. Overhead suplex. As Brock Lesnar with this bear hug locked in on Rikishi. Brock Lesnar can't afford oh, Rikishi with a side slam. And Rikishi, uh -oh, it's rump shaker time. Rikishi, oh, wait a minute. Brock Lesnar just low blow Rikishi as Paul Heyman distracted the referee. There's the F5. One, two, three, it's over. Who's your winner? Brock Lesnar. Just like that, the match is over. I can't even remember the thought I was going to say. But Brock Lesnar 
showed Rikishi no mercy in this match. As Rikishi was going for the rump shaker, Lesnar delivered, I believe, a low blow. And there's the F5, and there's a free count, and there's the victory for Brock Lesnar. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's Batista the animal. Batista will have a major statement regarding what happened at No Mercy in his match, in his match with Mark Henry. What? Wait a minute. That's, that's Kurt Angle. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is here on SmackDown. This is the first time we're seeing the Olympic gold medalist here on SmackDown. And the road to the Royal Rumble is just beginning here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And what a better way to start than with Kurt Angle here on SmackDown. I I'm in shock. I, I, I really can't believe this. I really can't believe that Kurt Angle is here on SmackDown. It'll be interesting to hear what Kurt Angle has to say. And these fans are really showing some respect for the Olympic gold medalist. I've been watching Batista. I've been seeing him go crazy beating up people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I want to prove now that I'm the number one. I'm the best in the business. And Batista, if you're listening, you get in the ring with me, and you're going to choke. Well, Kurt Angle asking, you shall receive. Here comes the world heavyweight champion, Batista. Kurt Angle calling out Batista. Batista is set here to deliver a statement. Regarding that no disc or that I should say that disqualification at the hands of Mark Henry. How you doing, Kurt? Dave Batista, world champion. You want to match with me? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, why? What are you intimidated? What are you scared yeah, of me? You don't want to have a match with me? You want your match? You got it. Oh, well, here comes JBL. I don't understand what JBL is doing out here, but it sounds like Batista is going to face Kurt Angle. I have shown over the past year by defeating opponent after opponent, night after night, day after day, that I am. Now what? Uh, Eddie Guerrero? You've got to be kidding me. Eddie Guerrero is here on SmackDown. Talk about combustible elements. Talk about the road to the Royal Rumble. If you want a match, then you are going to have to earn it. And I assure each and every one of you that I will give you the opportunity. Well, there you have it, folks. Teddy Long says each and all of these men are going to get a shot at Batista. I don't know what that will entail, but we'll find out coming up. They see Bobby Lashley, they see Finley, the two men who will compete in a number one contenders match for the United States Championship. At a later date, it'll be Finley versus Bobby Lashley to see who will face Rey Mysterio for the United States Champion. My name is Finley, and I love the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a number one contenders match for the United States Championship. Making his way to the ring, Finley! And his opponent, Bobby Lashley. Now this is the debut of Finley, the debut of Bobby Lashley. This night is full of debuts here on SmackDown. As we want to remind you that this is a programming format has just been updated and changed for 
this episode and all future episodes. We'll be seeing more stars and more action here on SmackDown. So here we go, Finley and Bobby Lashley lock up it's in the ring. Bobby Lashley breaks up the hold and there's Finley with an attack on Lashley. Finley is a very aggressive and dirty fighter. But Bobby Lashley's all power and strength. And here he is on display as he has Finley for the backbreaker. And there's a cover and a kick out. Irish whip on Finley and a clothesline in the corner by Lashley. Now Lashley with the shot. And he just sent he just sent Finley inside out with that almost a, an inverted Alabama slam. Lashley now measuring Finley. I don't know what he's setting up here for. It's going to be devastating. Oh, right into the ring post. It was devastating for Lashley as he went shoulder first into the ring post. And Finley, he's a, mat, uh, he's a technician on the mat. And he's going to be focusing on that body part. That injured body part. There's a kill to Gosh by Finley. Shoulders down and a kick out. Finley now choking away at Bobby Lashley. Wait a minute. That's a little bastard. Little bastard just... He just came into the ring. Oh, the spear. Lashley with the spear on Finley, who was going to use a shillelagh. Who's your winner? Bobby Lashley. Well, he was a shoulder first on Lashley. And that was a turning point in this match. And then out of nowhere, from under the ring, it was a leprechaun. He came and choked Lashley as Finley was about to use. Oh, he was about to use the shillelagh. And it was a spear from Lashley. Bobby Lashley seemingly had eyes in the back of his head on that exact moment. Wait a minute. And here comes the United States Champion Rey Mysterio showing respect to his future challenger, Bobby Lashley. We don't know when this match will take place, but ladies and gentlemen, the only person that's going to get a shot at the United States Championship will be Bobby Lashley. And speaking of shots at championships here is the number one contenders match it's a triple threat match made earlier tonight by Teddy Long it'll be JBL Eddie Guerrero Kurt Angle competing for a shot at Batista in the Royal Rumble subject to a reckoning far worse than physical annihilation. Their fate will be darker than a simple over-the-top elimination. Their souls will be subject to judgment at the hands of he who controls the dark side. And their suffering will be infinite. I will bury them all. Well, we see Eddie Guerrero getting ready for this huge match coming up, this huge triple threat match coming up. It is going to be a number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble at Batista. It's going to be JBL, Eddie Guerrero, and Kurt Angle competing in a triple threat match to see both face Batista at the Royal Rumble. The following contest is the number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal 
Rumble. Working his way to the ring. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, we made a shocking debut here on SmackDown earlier tonight. Earlier this evening. Is one of the the one of the two or the two other participants who can potentially earn a shot at Batista and the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. I was speaking of the Road to WrestleMania, our Road to WrestleMania, the Road to the Royal Rumble, rather, earlier tonight, and Kurt Angle certainly personifies intensity. He'll need every bit of intelligence in this match, a triple threat match, where the odds of winning are extremely low. And one of the participants, JBL. JBL is intelligent. There's no doubt about it, JBL is a former number one contender for the world title, and JBL has experience facing Batista. Will JBL be victorious in this match for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble? Well, I should say for a shot at the World Championship at the Royal Rumble. Thing. It's going up and down. Eddie Guerrero with a low rider into him doing you know, only the way he knows how. The only way Eddie Guerrero can is low rider and in style here on SmackDown. For this triple threat match for the number one contendership at the Royal Rumble. Whoa! And Eddie Guerrero just went for the ride. And there's Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle with suplexes on JBL. Cover here and it. Yo, Eddie Guerrero actually was able to break up that pinfall. I don't know if JBL would have been able to kick out. And Bradshaw with a boot to Kurt Angle. And JBL just got drop kicked by Eddie Guerrero. This match is going to be a little bit fast paced and a little hard to call for me. As there's a fall away slam by JBL. Here's a cover and Kurt Angle this time breaks up the pinfall. A swinging neck breaker from JBL. JBL sends Guerrero off the ropes and there's a head scissors on Guerrero, or by Guerrero, monkey flipping, JBL sent out of the ring. And now Kurt Angle, the ankle lock on Eddie Guerrero. Kurt Angle's got the ankle lock locked in on Eddie Guerrero. Will Eddie Guerrero tap out? Will Eddie Guerrero tap out? Will Kurt Angle become the new number one contender? Oh no, he was just sent into the ring post and a cover and a kick out uh, off the DDT. Eddie Guerrero now, one suplex, two suplexes, and now a trifecta, oh my god, close away from hell, and oh, Eddie Guerrero kicked out, let me take a look at this replay, and Eddie Guerrero with the suplex, out of nowhere, JBL, came with the close line from hell, and oh, he's going for the close line from hell again, and Kurt Angle with the ankle lock, Kurt Angle's got the ankle lock locked in, on JBL, JBL, well, he's made it to the bottom rope, but that doesn't count for a break in this match, it was just angle slammed on the outside. And angle slam again. And now Kurt Angle wearing out Eddie Guerrero. Let's take a look at that one more time. The angle slam outside of the ring by Kurt Angle. And the angle slam in the ring on Eddie Guerrero. Now Kurt Angle, he could have actually gone for the pin there. I don't know why Angle went for another one. And there's a DDT. Oh, a chair shot from JBL. Remember, there's no disqualifications in the triple threat match. And Kurt Angle again. The ankle lock, and this time he locks it in. And there, there's a tap out. JBL has tapped out. And the winner of this bout, and the new number one contender, Kurt Angle. 
Kurt Angle is the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. It will be Kurt Angle who faces, it'll be Kurt Angle who faces Batista for the World Heavyweight title. And there you can see Eddie Guerrero, obviously upset, disappointed that he did not get the job done. And here was the ankle lock, locked in on Guerrero. Guerrero, I thought Hack was going to tap out, I don't know how he did it. Here were the triple vertical suplexes and a clothesline from now out of nowhere from JBL and a kick out from Eddie Guerrero. I don't think JBL could believe it. And there Bradshaw came with a steel chair out of nowhere. But then it was Kurt Angle who was still in the ring. The ankle lock and really scissored that, that leg. And that was all over from there. Well we now know at the Royal Rumble it will be Kurt Angle who will be competing for the World Heavyweight Championship against Batista. Folks, we will see you next week as we continue on the road to the Royal Rumble.